What is up guys, it is Nisho here, and today I got another combo for you guys, or another combo video. Anyway, uh, showing off another deck that you can use for Link Format. It's a pretty casual deck, but um, it's a deck that I enjoy nonetheless. Now, you see the UA signing deal because we are talking about UAs, and you see three other cards here that aren't exactly UAs themselves, and you know, yes, it's a, one of those decks where you're going to have to use cards outside of the archetype a lot, but you know, when you see... Um, how I end my board with four cards, and um, it, like you, you might just be on board with it. Uh, you know, some people just think that four card combos are too much. Um, I am gonna try to do a shorter combo as well, but uh, this is the one that I found with uh, four cards so far. And so we do have this Yugi token here just to uh, symbolize uh, the middle of the field. Um, since I do have a play map, but you know, not everybody would be able to read that this is like the middle. This is you know, Link Zone 1, Link Zone 2, so. Yeah, so you're going to be starting off with your Gofu here. And so what Gofu is going to do is he's going to get you uh, the two tokens. Um, zone doesn't really matter because uh, you're going to be using them pretty soon. And so what you're going to do here is you're going to normal summon your uh, Offer Scorpio. Use his effect, drop a uh, Glow Bulb. And you're gonna summon Darlingtonia Cobra in defense mode. And so when Cobra is special summoned by the effect of Scorpio, he gets to search you instant fusion. Now you can play Brilliant Fusion, but you know this combo is using instant fusion, and uh, it's for good reason. So next, we overlay the Ofer Scorpio and the uh, Darlingtonia Cobra into our first extra deck monster, our MX Saber Invoker. And so what Invoker's going to do is he's going to detach one to summon out a level 4 Earth Warrior from deck. Now, in this deck, I you do also play Triple Midfielder, but I do also play um, Assault Halberd. And he is the better Tribute Fodder because, you know, if, you know later in the game, I, I, I don't need two copies of him, you know what I'm saying? But I might need all three copies of my Midfielder because, you know, in case I draw into a stadium or something. So, yeah. We summon our Assault Halberd, and we're still not using any of these these Gofu stuff yet. So we're just going to go straight into a Link Summon of Mrs. Radiant. And so now Mrs. Radiant is on board. Now you can finally use the tokens to Link Summon yourself a Proxy Dragon. So immediately now you have three potential zones you can uh, summon monsters from the extra deck in because you have one pony from Mrs. Radiant, one from Proxy, and another one from Proxy, uh, where Gofu is right now. Now you have two cards in your hand right here. The one that you're going to use is your UA signing deal. Now what signing deal is going to do is it's going to net you a level 5 UA monster at the cost of 1500 life points. So you're down to 65 in your first turn. And so you summon out your perfect ace. It doesn't really matter to zone, because what you're going to do now is you're going to use your Gofu and the level 5 UA monster that you chose. You can also choose Mighty Slugger, but you know, um, perfect ace I think it's better in the graveyard. In case you have a rival rebounder, um, it's going to be easier to bring back, you know, and easier to access. So you're going to go into uh, Ultimaya. And now, using this instant fusion that you searched with Darling Tony and Cobra, you're going to set it. Ultima is going to go off, and you're going to summon yourself a Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. And so, now, just be wary that while Mrs. Radiant is on the field, Crystal Wing does lose 500 attack and defense because it's a wind monster. But um, because of Crystal Wing's effect, both of its effects uh, kind of do make it gain attack. So the first one where if it negates a monster effect um, and the monster is destroyed, I don't know if it applies to while it's only on the field. So like, let's say 
you destroy a monster who activates in the hand. I don't know if he'll gain the attack of that monster, but if you negate a monster effect on field, he'll, he's gaining the attack of the destroyed monster. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that it has in the graveyard, so probably it's original attack. So, you know, you don't have to worry about attack too much for him. He's only going to go down to 25, and, you know, it's, that's not that big of a deal. So, after you summon out your, your Crystal Wing, you're going to activate the set Instant Fusion, um, and you're going to summon out yourself, uh, what's his name? Uh, Carbonala Warrior into your last, uh, Link Zone. And you're going to dig in your grave and go all the way back to that glow bulb that you dropped with uh, Orphoscopio. Drop one card from the top of the deck. If that was a perfect case, that will be... No, not a perfect case. Um, you a uh, penalty box. That would be actually pretty, pretty amazing. But, you know, it's not something necessary. And now you do have a level 4 Earth non-tuner and a level 1 earth tuner so you are going to synchro summon into the very last special summon of the turn Naturia Beast so um, since Mrs. Radiant is on the field Naturia Beast will gain an extra 500 attack so it will be at 2700 Crystal Wing will be at 25 Proxy only being at 14 but he will be able to protect your other monsters from being destroyed Ultimai just being here and Mrs. Radiant just being here now, if you wanted to, you do have the option to use Mrs. Radiant and uh, your Ultimaya to go into a Deco Talker at this point. Um, so, uh, this is this is an optional thing. You know, you can end with Mrs. Radiant and Ultimaya on board, you know, and in case Mrs. Radiant gets destroyed, um, you can add back, like, a midfielder or the perfect ace or something like that. And then... Um, Naturia Beast, uh, what you would do here is uh, Naturia Beast would be able to negate, you know, your spells, and Crystal Beam would be able to negate monster effects anyway, so, you know, you wouldn't have to worry too much about, you know, using these two guys, because these aren't really the meat of, you know, what you want on the field. So, you know, again, if, if you want to, um, you can use... Ultimaya and Mrs. Radiant to go into decode. He'll have 33 attack just because Proxy and Nature Beast will be pointing to him. And, you know, it wouldn't be the worst decision in the world. So, yeah. So that's the first combo I want to talk to you guys about. I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, yeah!